Hmm. Email from Emily in upstate New York. My husband is uh, Swiss. He cooks every once in a while. But he's never made a vegetable. He doesn't seem to know what a potato is. Looks like a case for short order dead. Let's head to upstate New York. In the history of evolution, man evolved from ape into a more sophisticated hunter-gatherer. In the ensuing years, however, man has largely ceased doing anything about dinner at all. Yet there is still one who believes that man belongs in the kitchen. At least every once in a while. Philippe uh, apparently makes dinner every once in a while, but seems to be all about the meat. Meat, 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 meat. Doesn't seem to know vegetables. Doesn't even do potatoes. You know the national dish of Switzerland is potatoes rosti. So anyway, uh, we're gonna go over and see if we can help out over there. That's my mission, that's my job. Hi, how you doing, Emily? Good. You are married to Philippe? I am. And you have uh, two kids, I Thank understand. Uh, tell me, what, uh, ages and uh, gender? Both boys, Nathaniel is five and Finian is two. How's this Philippe doing? He's a good guy? He's a great guy. Oh, excellent, excellent. He cooks, am I right? He uh, does. And what he does, he does well. What does he do? Meat. Philippe, you know, when we think of Switzerland here, because Americans, we're not all that good with uh, geography, but even food-wise, you know, when we think of Swiss, we got, uh, we've got Swiss cheese, yeah. we've got your, uh, we've got Swiss uh, chocolate, you, you, you do some really good uh, chocolate. You got your uh, you got your Swiss uh, watches. So precision. We we think of. Are you very precise? I try to be. <laughs> Swiss chard? I, I'm not sure. Swiss mess? That is not really. No, that's Swiss an American uh, chocolate uh, drink, isn't <laughs> it? K Swiss, the sneakers. Anything to do with uh, your people? Um, no, nothing at all. All right. So, uh, Philippe, in in all uh, in all seriousness, you like vegetables, am I right? That's what Emily said. Yeah, I like them very much. Maybe what we do is maybe we'll shop and see what looks good and bring it back and just make some stuff. Sounds great, yeah. Excellent, let's yeah. do it. Okay. Yeah. I think yeah. we should get some Uncle Jerry's pretzels. I think we should get a box of pasta. Oh, yeah. And maybe some chicken, and then we're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is clearly a, 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 a male operation. You can tell that just by looking at the organizational discipline right there on the table. If there are women involved, right, this thing would be beautiful and it would be in bowls and it would be perfect. You know what I mean? It would be fabulous. This is dad cooking. But here's the thing, dad if you cook, somebody else is going to clean. That's the way I look at it. We're gonna peel potatoes because we're gonna make potatoes roasty. Because my man here is from Switzerland, and it's potatoes roasty are basically the national dish of Switzerland. And his wife says he doesn't even make um, potatoes. So let's make Swiss potatoes. Let's put it this way: you don't see uh, Emeril or uh, Rachel or Giada peeling potatoes. I can uh, you can rest assured of that. If you can get away with it, this is the kind of stuff you want to delegate. Hey, uh, look who's in the kitchen. You want to help out? I got a job for you. You start at the top, right, and you just pull your fingers, you, you hold your fingers together and you pull down and then all those things come off. You want to do that to a couple? Yes. I'm going to ask you just, I know that you're um, an engineer and I know that you're a uh, Swiss and I know that you're all about precision. Yes. So just be careful that you don't grate your uh, fingers. You like chicken? No. Oh, that's too bad. Do you like uh, broccoli? No. Not really. What do you think about tomatoes? They're too sour. Too, sa like too sour for your tongue? I hear you. How about this one? I feel really confident what's coming next. What do you think about pasta? I like that. That you like? Okay, then you know what? We're going to make some pasta. This is why you want to work with an engineer. Have you ever seen more beautifully sliced mushrooms? He's got a, like a gift. I always use kosher salt, and, and the reason that you use kosher salt when you cook versus the regular table salt is because you can actually feel, you can actually feel yourself salting. Like that? Uh, you're going to need more than that. Like that? Go. I like to cook. 
Right, because why? Because it's fine. Thank you. Some fresh rosemary, if you prefer, uh, you know, and you want to use uh, thyme, if you like sage. Uh, maybe you don't want to put any herb in there. Tarragon is great. Uh, and then we squeeze some lemon juice in. Boom. High heat, I believe in high heat when you're roasting chicken, so we're talking about 450, 500 is not a problem. Uh, everything looks very easy. There you have it. As many vegetables and uh, uh, jammed into there and, and there and potatoes and enjoy. Every, every component is here. It's it's my ideal meal. <laughs> hey, Cha, <laughs> you cooked vegetables. Yeah, that's true, and uh, I, I'll do it again. <laughs> Behind me, you can see the family of Emily and Philippe, their kids, uh, Nathaniel and uh, Finian, enjoying a meal that's loaded with vegetables. Philippe now knows how to work with potatoes and make vegetable dishes. Emily is happy. My work here is done. Until next time, life is short. Never waste a meal. This is your short order, Dad. Yeah.